Hey there, McFly subscribers. So I was just about to uh, go video the underwater footage of my new fly that I'm tying. This should be up in about a week. And uh, I wanted to give you a kind of a channel update. So as some of you might know, I have a three-year-old and for a while he's been begging to get a fish tank. And we've been reluctant. I mean, it's a lot of work to kind of upkeep a fish tank. And I started thinking about it. Okay, we can kill two birds with one stone here. Right now, I've been using my bathtub to uh, do my underwater footage of, of the flies that I tie. You know, I have to fill up a bathtub. That's a lot of water. It's costing some money. You know, I thought, you know, I can use a fish tank to do underwater footage. So that's what I'm going to do. I took some video of me setting up the, the tank, of kind of the progression of the tank. I did kind of like a underwater... Uh, aquascape kind of thing and uh, with some plants and whatnot and I, I, I think it looks pretty good but you know we got two guppies and <laughs> the first day as soon as we put the guppies in the mom had babies uh, we had one male and one female and just had a ton of babies so now we've got something like 20 fish in that tank for a small 10 gallon fish tank thing I think we're gonna have to try to uh, maybe give some back to the to the store. And this fly that I'm tying, uh, that you'll see in another video about two weeks from now, uh, is gonna be called the Lion Head Sculpin. So it's got a nice fat, broad head, a nice tapered body, and this thing, I it, it moves great in the water. When I first kind of create a, a fly, I do an underwater footage to see how it moves, to see if I like it, if that's what I want, and then I tweak it if that's not what I want, and then I go out and fish it and see if it catches fish. And I did this, and I also did an articulated version of this. Both caught fish, and both caught fish really well. So I'm about to do that in that tank, which is gonna be awesome, I think. It's gonna look good. But yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at that fish tank and what you guys are probably going to be seeing from this point on of all my underwater footage. The shop was out of plants when I bought the tank, so I only was able to add hardscape. I was able to get a few plants the next day. Of course, the water was still really cloudy. It's starting to clear up now. After the tank cycled, we were able to add a few fish. We got just two guppies, one male and one female. And of course, my kid had to jump in the picture with his new tank. Here is a shot of the male. And of course, the female had babies that night. Which my kid was really proud of. She had about 15 or so babies. It took a while to get the plants to start to grow. But the mesh on these rocks hold the java moss into the rocks. But the moss will grow through the mesh over time and look like grass. After a few weeks, the plants are starting to grow a bit better, and the moss is growing through the mesh. And somehow, the female had even more babies. Boy, that was quick. And we added a few shrimp for a cleanup crew. Now, back to me talking. I'm kind of doing this at night. I brought every kind of light I have in my house. Problem is I can't really do speaking videos like talking to the camera in the daytime. I've got a three year old. He's beautiful, amazing, wonderful child and I love him to death. But he's very loud <laughs> and he, he's, he just does not, he's not quiet. It's impossible. And recently, because a couple of you had been asking where I get some of my materials and for links of where to get the materials that I use or, you know, hey, what is that material? Where can I get it? Um, I've started actually, it, it's a little bit of work for me, but just as a convenience for you guys, I've been putting a link for every bit of materials that I, that I use. 
I've never been one to spend a lot of money uh, on things. Um, and that's what I'm going to try to pass on to you guys. I spend a lot of time and effort looking for materials at a discount price. Behind me here, I've got a wall filled with materials. And I didn't spend a fortune on this. This is something that most people would spend, you know, probably a thousand or more dollars on. Um, some of the places I've found materials before don't necessarily sell materials anymore, or they were like a one-off, like eBay bid. Those I can't link to, but I will try to find comparable prices for you guys and link those into the to the videos. For all my subscribers, I just want to kind of produce something for you guys that not only a way for you guys to learn how to tie a certain fly or learn techniques um, or even watch fun fishing videos, but I want you guys to be able to find this material too at, at good prices. I don't want you guys to spend a ton of money. Um, you know, and and some of these places are, I, I feel, good uh, good prices, but also reparable sources. I, that's the thing is I don't want to give you some eBay bid, um, eBay seller that might not, you know, might take your money and not send you product. So all the places are going to either be, you know, long-lasting uh, fly uh, fishing, fly tying um, shops that are online, or they're going to be like Amazon, which which um, if if only that seller has like you know high rating, um, or I've used them before and I trust them. Um, so there you go. I just I you know I wanted to do that for you guys. You've been asking for it, and that's just something that I felt for a while that I need to start doing. It is a little work. It adds about you know an extra half hour to an hour of me trying to find the links and post them and do all that. It's it is a little bit of work, but you know, it's something that I really wanted to do for you guys. So let me know if you appreciate that, if that's something that you guys want, um, if you want me to continue doing that. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of like uh, not my normal video, but I just wanted to uh, give you guys a channel update.